Welcome back to another week at Drone DJ. This week we've got four pieces of news, starting with uh, Mavic Air 2 now works with Drone Deploy. So if you're into your uh, automated or autonomous missions, you can now work with uh, the Mavic Air 2. Um, in UK, there is a dog rescued by a drone. And we also have FAA hunting down the rule-violating Bengals drone pilot. So if you haven't <laughs> seen that video yet, you are about to see it in today's news. And last one, we have a uh, personal jet drone that's already sold out in Sweden. So that should be interesting. We'll take a look at the price tag and um, you know, let us know if you're interested in buying. So Kirk, well... First of all, what's the temperature down there? Uh, it was about negative eight Fahrenheit, which I think what, what was it? it was like negative twenty something Celsius. Celsius, yeah, we're about uh, the same here. Um, yeah, and it's negative three this morning. Um, I really want to get out and fly some drones, but it's just it's below the drone operating temperature and my personal operating temperature as well. Um, I don't, I don't I'm, I'm still. Well, you don't want to sit in your car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think I'm that good of a drone pilot to be sitting in my car and flying. Uh, I'm also a Floridian still for the past four years, so I don't like this cold. Um, I do have, I have some drones here. I'm, so, I'm trying to review uh, the Skydia Two Plus. I have as well, um, sitting in the back corner in its case. Um, I also though have the Altel Light right here. I don't have the battery in this one, but I also have the, the uh, Nano. Nice. And I I got I, I'm working on an unboxing video, kind of like going over all the stuff in there. And they have they come with multi chargers. They come with you know a couple of, uh, extra batteries and charging cables and extra you know kind of like equipment. I do have just for size comparison the the Altel Nano and then the Mini. So it's about the, a, about the same. It's a little bit longer, a little bit taller, um, a little bit wider. Have you uh, weighted it? I haven't weighed it yet. Um, I've, I've just kind of held them both my hands with batteries in it, and they felt pretty much the same. Um, I think uh, you can definitely tell the the auto, the Nano, uh, the the build quality, I would say, like is fine. Like, I guess like the, uh, I guess what's the term for like, this, they definitely use a little bit more of a, a cheaper plastic than DJI used to make it a little bit lighter because I think it mm -hmm. is a little bit larger with, the sensors and the camera and obviously because they wanted to fit the obstacle void and sensors. Yeah. So they kind of have the, the kind of like pick and choose like kind of what they're going to put in there. Uh, the one thing though was I, I'm like, well, the legs are going to be flimsy as, as hell then. Like if you do that, <laughs> uh, actually no, DJs are way more flimsy. Like the, the, the ones on the nano are like solid. So I'm like those, I don't feel like the legs and the are pretty rigid. They're pretty good. Of course the light is like carbon fiber. So they're fine. Um, that thing's a beast. So, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to flying them soon. Um, Maybe I mean, in a same month or so. Here. We, I mean, we, 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 we couldn't fly for the past two weeks with what minus, minus 20 uh, yeah. Celsius. It's just not comfortable. Yeah. Right? You just don't want to stand. And, and even if, like, situations when we're flowing the car, mm -hmm. I usually I like to sit at the back of my truck, right? Yeah. And just open the back where the heat is blasting at me when I'm flying. So at least, you know, I'm semi warm in there. But you still have to step out to put at least the drone down <laughs> on yeah. the ground yeah. or, or calibrate the compass, right? Or, yeah. or do some kind of setup. You still have to step out. And it's just not comfortable with, especially with what 20 inches of snow on the ground. Yeah, uh, we, we, we don't have that much snow. But uh, with the places that I, I have to go fly because I have to I, I live underneath the airport. I think it's like B class airspace. Um, I have to like drive pretty far out uh, to get out of that. So yeah, like it, it's out in like kind of like the farm fields area. Uh, I have to like find one that that's cool. So as soon as weather allows, we yep. are going to test fly the Altel um, Nano and Altel Lite. Yep. <laughs> and definitely we'll, we'll come back and share with you uh, our thoughts and findings on that. Now, yep. turning back yeah, to our news. Yeah. Uh, first, <laughs> on the official business side, Drone Deploy is officially supporting the Mavic Air 2 now, uh, which is on the Fly app. And I'm hopeful. So seeing this, I'm hopeful that maybe you know, Drone Deploy will come up with a version that supports Mini 2 and mm -hmm. obviously the new Mavic 3 and Mavic 3 Cine um, if they can support the Fly app now. So I guess we shall see what happens. And for those of you who, uh, who are not familiar with Drone Deploy, it's basically um, a software, right? So it's got two pieces. You've got the capture part on the drone, which you use that to fly uh, instead of using your DJI Fly app. And um, once the data comes back, you can process it 
using their cloud-based, so your computer-based, um, uh, the the computer end where where it processes your data, stitches the map together, gives you calculation, you know, inspection along with with other things. Um, so it's definitely, I mean, it's a software we use on a regular basis. Uh, we couldn't use it with the DJI Fly app before, but definitely it's interest. It's going to be interesting now to see um how they're supporting the smaller drone platforms. Yeah, seeing this in the future, possibly coming to like the mini would be really interesting. Uh, just doing automated flights. Um, I, I and it's not something I personally do, but it'd be really cool. I think it would be a interesting platform to add it to. I think some that small capability would add some more. You know, yeah, I mean, for example, we had uh, we had to do a Beyond Visual Line of Sight project, uh, mm -hmm. which we had to go through special permission with Transport Canada, right? But before we got to that, we said. I just want to test, you know, a drone mm -hmm. flying four kilometers. How does it actually feel? Can I actually do that? And uh, without breaking the rules, I mean, we could use Mini 2 basically yeah. to fly that distance to try it. Uh, it was on open water on, on Lake Ontario. But with Mini 2, you can run automated missions because we needed yeah. to fly straight line just to a point, the shortest distance, a distance from the shore to, you know, in the middle of the lake, a specific GPS coordinate. You can't fly straight line using your, <laughs> your hands. I mean, we, yeah. we, can't, we can't have that precision as humans, right? Um, so I thought it would be nice to have uh, the ability to use drone deploy or Lichi, which we use for some of the, the filming uh, automated mission planning too. So those are definitely you know, interesting things because you can, you can try different features using the Mini 2 before obviously adding the larger drones with um, you know, more risks to it so we shall see we're at again as soon as weather allows we're gonna go out and try with um our air 2 and air 2s to see obviously um how drone deploy actually works on it next we have a dog rescued by the drone so let me share our story on drone dj um i really liked this one actually a friend of mine who's who's big into uh, they actually sell dog products uh pet products so they actually shared them um, the news with us okay so this is the dog you're looking at that was rescued by a drone um the story basically goes you know the dog went missing they were able to find the dog in kind of a difficult you know marshy area uh where they couldn't access so they wanted to, to have a way to lure the dog out and they used um basically it looks like a mavic 2 and they tied a two ounces of sausage <laughs> with a rope to the drone and they use that sausage to basically lure this hungry little puppy I'm, out. I'm glad my dog wasn't the one lost because he would be terrified. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> terrified of that drone. <laughs> Someone just said, I just renewed my dog license. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's funny. So. Um, well, again, one of those, you know, drones for good stories. I, I guess mm -hmm. someone really on that because it wasn't something they planned. Um, they got yeah. to the spot and they already made multiple attempts trying to rescue the dog with um, and wasn't successful. So someone had to really come up with something quickly because they were saying the tides started to come in. So all the different weather elements started to come into play. Um, and someone just made that decision on the spot. It's actually, I mean, it's pretty smart. I mean, dogs are pretty food motivated. So uh, tied some sausage. <laughs> I, do, uh, I don't know that it's probably a pretty smart thing to do. You know what, do you know what drone that was? Uh, looks like it was Mavic 2. Okay. Gotcha. Mavic 2 or Mavic Air 2. One sec. Where did I saw one? Okay. The picture isn't on here. I'm probably going to get, um, you know, another blog story app. So we'll post the link in the video description. Uh, after live, there was another uh, complete new story. So you can actually see the two ounces of the sausage along <laughs> with um, the actual drone. I, I believe it was um, a Mavic 2. Yeah, because I saw I saw a couple articles come out with this, and I saw like the image of the yeah, they had like the all before and after photos. Yeah, well, at first when I just saw the title, I was thinking, is it is it a sausage or is it the the sausage type of dog? Like I couldn't I couldn't figure out until I actually read the story. Now moving on, next one. Let me share the screen on this. So if you haven't seen this, I believe so, it was going viral all week, right? Yeah. Uh, if anyone was watching football over the weekend, uh, I have, of course, um, sadly, my team is out. Uh, Packers lost to the uh, 49ers. So I'm officially now a Rams fan. Um, but uh, there was also, uh, I remember if this was over the weekend or this was a wild card. I don't remember. I think the Bengals were playing and there was a drone video of this. And 
first of all, don't do this. <laughs> Disclaimer, don't do this. No kidding. Um, uh, so this guy flew into, you know, okay, uh, to violate it. Let me just play. Let me just play. Yeah, the video definitely play the video. Um, because we get the we can totally trash talk it later. Um, and uh, pretty much violated the TFR, flew over people. Um, didn't. I mean, yeah, just look at the drone actually going towards all these people without permission, without safety, yeah, without the, anything, without nothing. Um, and um, the person seems pretty clueless of what he did. Uh, and in the comments, if you read through the comments, although I think he has figured and out that it was terrible illegal. video movements. Those are terrible aerial movements. So I here's mean, the you... thing. If you're gonna break the law by doing something, at least make it look epic. <laughs> I get. I mean, come on. Like, if you're gonna do something, like at least make it look good. Like, <laughs> look at that. Like, what is that? Be a camera change. Like, I know. I wouldn't hire this guy. Let me tell you, <laughs> I wouldn't hire this guy as a camera operator. I mean, I want to hire him because you know he broke the law too. But like, <laughs> he also well, the camera skills probably weren't that aren't that good either. But no. uh, it. it I, I I really have no words to describe. And what like, kind of framing? I mean. I, I don't love that framing. I don't know what he was trying to film there. <laughs> yeah, so looking through the comments, of course, it's it's all filled with people, you know, telling him that he's really dumb and, and that he broke the law. But he seemed, uh, or I'm assuming he, or the person seems pretty clueless. Um, the person's uh, he's comments, like his own, it's, that person's own comments are even funnier than yeah. the public's comments. So you get through and you kind of like, oh, the FBI's going to see you, man, and you just doubt it. Uh, do you, was this legal? No. Like, you knew so like he knew that it wasn't legal like it yeah so so the moral of the story <laughs> is don't do this i guess he said that you know bad example for everyone um just don't do this this is really stupid and yeah. it's just disrespectful i mean you can you can see how low he got to the ground yeah. Right. I, I'm surprised no one at the stadium threw a bottle or you know something. I'm surprised the football player didn't throw yeah, I'm, the well, I'm at assuming, his drone. I I'm sure it was pretty pretty hard to see. I don't know if you've ever gone to like a, a football game. Uh I mean without it's pretty, the lights. Without with all the lights on and all the people, it's probably pretty hard to find that drone on the back of all the people. Um and then it's very loud, so I'm I'm certain no one probably heard it. Um or if they did uh, I mean, drones have gotten pretty regular usage um, uh, here, like law, enforce law enforcement wise, uh, such as like uh, crowd um, crowd security. So, I mean, if I was at if I was at a, a football game and I saw a drone flying, I'm not going to probably think, oh, that's probably illegal. Um, <laughs> this is the best guy of all. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, you know, I, I probably wasn't going to think two of it, uh, two things of it. But yeah, that is uh, definitely don't do this. <laughs> Please don't do this. I remember um, one of our writers previously interviewed someone who was who was standing on the flying drone. So I wonder if we reach out to this guy and say, "Hey, come on on the show, oh, please. Minutes, and and please, 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 just tell us what was going in your head at the moment. State your name and your address. Oh wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. That would just as FA give up. Rewards. <laughs> <laughs> can we get can we get a bounty, please? I'll be a bounty hunter for yeah. this. Yeah, totally. Oh, that's too funny. Yep. Now, next piece of story. Let me share. There we go. Okay. Now, if you've got a hundred thousand dollars just lying around and you're looking to buy the next you know cool pounds. toy. This uh, Swedish Jetson 1 personal eVTOL, which is electric vertical takeoff and landing, uh, this is sold out. So I wonder how many people or who actually, who paid, you know, that $22,000 deposit for this 90, they said $92,000. Yeah. I bet with accessories and other things, it's, it's going to add up to hundred grand pretty, pretty it's, easily. It's interesting. I, I, I watched the, did you watch the video of this? Hi. The That's person so flies pretty close to the ground, um, and I, I don't know if I want to do that with that with that thing. Like I seem pretty terrified of, of flying. Um, so you can fly the on the highway above everybody else, basically. <laughs> I mean, it is suggestions, right? You can just fly anywhere you want. Um, yeah. I don't. Know, would you Would you fly this thing? Would you, if you had the money, would you buy it as well? 
to me, it's not about you know what. It's not so much about the money. It's I I need to see the safety. I need to see can I even who's responsible for making sure I can fly this in the city. Do I have to go apply for the permit? Oh, right. Yeah, because like the, I don't. That that was one one question. So what's the what's the catch on the legality of flying this? I, I know it's it's an ultralight, and I don't think you need um, like a pilot's license or anything like that for it. But also, it's kind of like uh, you don't need P so you don't need PPL. You don't need the private yeah. pilot license. I don't believe, but I'm sure there's got to be some kind of licensing. Uh, there's got to be like some sort of like I feel like it's easy to be more strict than. It's just a drone where you can fly a drone. Yeah. You can fly this. I mean, I know in Canada you go through what we call special flight operation certificate, which is essentially mm -hmm. almost like any waiver you go through with uh, FAA, right? It just means the current rules don't cover it. You have to go through a special, you know, permit or waiver for it. But you can see, you know, what if you can see the downwash from um, from this drone when it's flying. One of the shots I saw, you can just see the dust. Let's see, it. yeah. Oh yeah, when it's coming around this building, yeah, like. That is, uh, that's, uh, I don't want to be underneath that, especially in the desert. Uh, that would suck. Because but... one thing I, I would think would be, you know, when, let's say when I go up to the cottage to go fishing and there are so many remote islands here, um, uh, in Georgian Bay, right? So it'd be nice to travel, let's say from one island to another or some of the water access only, um, cottages. Sure, you know, before lake freezes, I can't get to it through boat if there's ice, but I also can't get to it because it hasn't completely frozen. I could, you know, write this to my water access only cottage. <laughs> then it becomes four season, right? But based on, I mean, I, I don't know if I want to fly it over water just looking at um, the downwash from the propellers and how high do you actually want to fly? Yeah, like I, how high do you want to fly? How high can it fly? Um, you have to weigh, I, I don't like weight limits to 210 pounds. Um, I don't know what that is with uh, non-freedom units. Sorry, um, but uh, it, it's also really expensive. Like it's really under thousand. Yeah, yeah I wonder. You know what? Say if I live in a major city, say if I want to do Uber delivery, right? <laughs> can I can I go through? You know, just building to building. If I'm going to deliver to that an apartment building, or can I just go from Amazon to like just do Amazon deliveries with this thing? Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, oh, those no are one questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i don't know if i would i don't know if i would ever fly this thing it, it's funny it's, it's interesting they have a smartphone on the uh as like it's like dash for like speed and, and mm -hmm. stuff like that which and is I wonder, interesting do you fly it or do you just program it no it has definitely has controls like you look right here like it yeah. has controls so the person's definitely uh controlling because most of the most of the ev tell like the most of the drone taxis they're trying to market it as you don't have to fly it you just set yeah. your destination, it flies you there. But this one looks more like a sporty version. It this looks more like you actually have fun with it. Yeah, it looks like kind of like the uh, the aerial version of an ATV. Yeah, uh, kind of like it's it's a toy for the fun, but it's definitely for for the rich. Yeah, you get uh, you get the sense that this is a sports. This is more like you know sports like even the way it's being it's being flown in the video here. I, mm -hmm. I guess you know that sporty feel rather than the transportation feel. Oh yeah, yeah. It's definitely for fun. I mean, maybe, maybe one day, maybe one day I'll fly it. But uh, if they send us one for testing, oh, can, who can knows? it send us one for review? Yeah, totally. Yep, <laughs> I'll do that. Just take it, just take it down the runway, you know, in my airport. That's that's perfectly fine. Yeah. So you can see that the kind of controls there, you have like, a, it looks like you have like a kind of like a, a even like a buggy, like that doom buggy feel. It does right, look very this. doom buggy. I'm assuming the right is what you control is what you would pitch, you know. And you can see the altitude, speed, and then yeah. the left is alt uh, left, maybe the left little stick is altitude. I um, wonder if you actually if it's like helicopter, right? If you have the yeah. stick and then you have your foot pedals. I wonder if there if there's actual foot controls down there. That would make sense. They just copy the uh the controls of a helicopter. Yeah, but it feels pretty cramped in there. Just it does not. I, I I don't think this is a comfortable ride. It it looks like you are in it for a fast paced joyride and yeah. nothing else. So. And I don't think it's covered. No, it's not covered. No, not at all. Can't so all the backwards. dust, all the dust, all the wind, all hey, the dirt. I don't know. Have you, got, have you, if you've ever gone ATV in a snowboard brilliant, I mean, same thing. Just gotta just throw your goggles on. And yeah, it's not. It. I mean, you have to dress properly. You, yeah. you really have to dress properly. Yep. I'm surprised he's not wearing. I, I guess the other thing is if you don't wear gloves, gloves right? Yeah. If you don't wear gloves, but if you wear gloves, you lose the sensitivity of the touch too. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, if anyone bought one, <laughs> please let us know. If someone bought one, please let us know. We'll yeah, share out. with Let's us. Out. How did they actually feel? 
Yeah, that would be great, actually. Uh, so on that note, that's all the top stories we have for this week. Let me just go back to our room here. Yeah, I mean, obviously we are winter here. So hopefully yeah. another couple of weeks uh, before we hit a stretch of weather and we can go back to, you know, at least flying and sharing some of um, the new toys we got from CES. Uh, yeah. At least share the feedback with everyone. Yep. Uh, I think one of the bigger problems was uh, it's 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 not it's also very windy up here as well. So um not a lot of areas up here that have yeah wind long... and cold is miserable i mean if yeah. you get sun if you get sun and no wind it could be nice mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's very uh i mean like farmland area up here so it's there's not like uh i guess i can go with a lot of trees that cuts down the wind so yep uh hopefully maybe in a few weeks maybe end of this week i saw some weather that looked not perfect but doable so well, thanks for joining us this week, and we will see you back here next week. Same time.